That's Woodyard Pizza, baby. To slice uk today we are in nottingham uh randomly we're at someone's house so i can't give you the address and i don't want to show you the house uh because if you live in nottingham uh by the look of the houses you probably know where we are uh we are at woodyard pizza company uh it's a guy from nottingham he started it up himself uh in pretty much november he, he just started he watched a youtube video started making pizzas and then he decided, you know what, I'm gonna start selling them. Uh, it wasn't for his own, uh, well, it wasn't for himself, it was for charity. So we started it from November, uh, started raising money there, and then obviously we were in lockdown, so we decided he was gonna give away pizzas uh, to local heroes, hospitals, ambulance staff, and all that type of jazz, uh, which is fantastic in itself. Uh, he's also uh, gonna be doing, um, I think it's a bike ride or a 400 mile uh, trip uh, something I probably got that wrong but he's going on a bike ride anyway raise money uh, for a, a charity which is close to his heart one of his friends uh, father's passed away of prostate cancer so they're going to be raising money for that so we need 450 pound minimum uh, so obviously we're going to put it on the page anyone who's watching who can donate a pound or anything to the cause just to get him on his way let's do it uh, but we're here for the pizza so he's given me the charity uh, I've just watched him make it because he's got it on his balcony he's got it in a rock box which is absolutely awesome so Brad gives an extra point one for boxes I'm giving an extra point one for a rock box on your balcony uh, let's get a look at this so so Neapolitan style uh, if you go on his Instagram page uh, he'll say that the odd shape now he just he just whacked that on the top of his fridge um, and how he got it square as the box I don't know but like I say um, even though he's watched it on YouTube this is more aerated than I've seen in some Neapolitans and restaurants so let's get a slice of the action see how it holds up and he's given us pretty big slices and it looks pretty awesome Smells nice as well. He had the basil out. He's got basil in his window. Again, I can't show you, but I wish I could. Uh, and he's got the tin of the tomatoes. So you're walking down the street and you see tin tomatoes in Nottingham in someone's window. Just give him a knock. I mean, he certainly knows what he's doing with the sauce. San Marzano tomatoes. Do you know what? It's really good. Like, really good. Is it restaurant quality? No. What he also said someone makes cakes down the road, they just trade each other off. They should bake him a cake and then he'll give it a pizza. So I'm going to come up with my own thing, I might just start making scones, give that lady some scones, she can give me some cake, give him some scones, he can give me some pizza, and we're all happy. He's definitely done his homework with his pizza making, I don't know if you can see that, how aerated the dough actually is. It's up shaking, maybe. It's cold. <laughs> really nice the charring's nice as well imagine being one of this guy's uni mates you'd have to make an excuse just to come around and do your studies but it doesn't look like he's doing much studying in there to be honest the cheese boy hey the grown man on a scooter here having the time of his life what's the cheese like 
it's really creamy. But it's got quite a lot of um it's got a lot of herbs on. What I love about this is the sauce. For me on a Neapolitan, you've got to have a powerful sauce, sweet, salty. Uh, and like I say, you, you give it some really good seasoning. It's coming. Yeah. Wrap it up. <laughs> We're trying not to get your house in. <laughs> in case someone come and robs you. What's that one? Yeah. Yeah. I put honey on. Yeah. Nice one. What's yeah. a honey company called? Uh, Murray's Hot Honey. Murray's Hot Hi. Honey. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's got Murray's Hot Honey. We're going to put it on the page. He's going to send us a photo of a pizza with it. Uh, we had hot honey uh, a couple of weeks ago now, uh, and it was went really, really well uh, with uh, like a meat feast or just uh, indusia. So let's get a look at this. So. Oh man. But yeah, where did you say you're from? Northampton? Yeah. And I, what's your name? Dan. Dan, right, I did get his name right. <laughs> I'm terrible with names anyway. So I'm going to give this one a bite because it's absolutely scorching. It's good. Actually burnt. <laughs> And we'd give you a street address and all that as well, so everyone knows where you are <laughs> on your phone number. Uh, so the charity, what is it you're doing? Because I've said you're doing a 450 mile round trip. Oh no, I made that 250. up. 250. 250. Just made it sound so much longer. I've put so. 200 miles on, so he's doing it twice. And he's flopped. So, <laughs> yeah. so he's just come in in time for the score. What do you think? Okay. What would you give yourself? <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll be honest, the your actual dough, we've had Neapolitan, and uh, your dough is actually better in terms of uh, in terms of risen than some we've had. So, and do you use um, what cheese do you use? Uh, pure, I don't know, pure delay. Pure delay. Yeah, pure delay. So we use pure delay, and you put um, what herbs you put on the top? Obviously, you've got basil, so you use the oregano. So everything I've said is pretty much bang on. Uh, I'm going to put this up there with uh, Franchetti's. Uh, it's probably probably on par with Franchetti's, which is uh, based in Liverpool, if you haven't seen that one already. Uh, I'm going to give this one a 7.6. Uh, I could have pushed it into the 8 uh, if he was a hard man, but I think I could probably, I think I could probably take him. Uh, but yeah, um, we're going to put his Instagram down below. Um, one of his friends does have a um, place that they're raising money so we'll put the links up for that as well and then um, yeah if you can donate or help out in any way you can that would be much appreciated um, again come to Nottingham help support him if he does any pop-ups we'll put it on our Instagram anyway uh, if we find out where the woman lives who gives him cake we'll put that up as well number seven <laughs> number seven but again we're not giving you the road um and yeah uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't already give us a like comment down below where we should go next in nottingham and stay pizzery <laughs>